hi guys welcome back to my channel so i think uh i have a random thoughts today that i want to do some youtube video and if you are so lucky to bump into this video and you are struggling with obesity or weight management i think you are in the right channel because today i'm going to share about my weight loss success my weight loss journey some tips and tricks that might help you in some way i want to make this video stress-free pressure-free so to to actually enhance the quality of um, what I'm going to show you or what I'm going to say, I find that most of the people who have been doing content, you tend to need a good background, good lighting. And sometimes I will do recording over and over again. It's because everything is scripted. We have to write down most of the pinpoint that we want to tell you so yeah i find that maybe something more relaxing that i can just um come up with some questions and answer and then and hopefully this video uh, need less editing uh, but give you more quality content in terms of information so to tell you to introduce about myself my name is Lynn Barry I'm uh, 37 years old this year so I'm no longer someone who are young I have been fighting with obesity and weight problems since uh, I mean teenager age so I remember the only time that I am on my healthy BMI, uh, apart from now, was actually around 6-7 years old. So I start to gain very drastic weight starting from 8, 9, 10 and then uh, going until my adulthood. So to bring it easier, short and simple for you, I have been obese my entire life and until these two years ago that I have sloughed my haywire stress problem, I have uh, sloughed my weight problems uh, with just a few simple steps that I hope that can help you in a way if you are struggling the same issue as what I did. So starting off, I want to make it clear that I am not any nutritionist or doctors or professional. So all the things that I share here as a disclaimer, uh, it's just based on my own personal experience and how I managed to lose all the 40 kilo off from the body based on a few simple factors that I input into my life. So I hope that those tips and tricks and my sharing will somehow help you in a way but if you have any conditions on your body or sickness, you should better consult um, your family doctors and professional that can actually give you better um, consultations and also help you with your condition. So let's get started. Other than the motivation issue, so now let's start the tips of the day that I've learned that I think is very successfully helped me to overcome my obesity and which leads me to successfully lose the weight, maintain the weight. I think this one, it when you listen to these tips, right, you'll feel that it's so simple if you talk about that. Is it true? Is it true really? This, this only one simple step that I can lose weight? Yes, it is true that I use this method to lose weight and my nutritionist uh, actually tell me that I have to uh, time myself to eat you know, time myself to eat. So we set a timer that my ideal time to finish my meal, let's say uh, I have a meal here, right here. So I have to start an alarm clock to time myself to eat at least 35 minutes to finish the meal, which, which means that generally saying that people always finish their meals within 10 to 15 minutes. But for me, I cannot. I have to eat slow. I have to eat mindfully. I have to time myself before the alarm actually beeps. I then only can finish my food. Otherwise, it will be too fast or um, I can go slower, but I cannot go anytime um, 
faster than the 35 minutes but my ideal time will be 45 minutes to an hour to finish my plate of rice because my rice will consist of some veggies some protein it, it is a very balanced meal because i have been working very hard to during the my entire life to cook healthy so i don't eat very complex food i usually take uh, food such as uh, have a mixture of good protein mixture of uh, veggies um, carbs yeah so and i try to reduce my carbs level so and it is very normal for me to have half only half of the rice or noodle as an asian because we all know that uh, carbs come from rice noodle or something uh, which is a lot of um, grains and um, flour so yeah so that is the first thing that hit me is that using the alarm clock to actually time myself to eat and the reason why that this is so simple yet so effective is because usually people use less time to eat they consume the food without even looking at the food smelling the food tasting the food and we don't eat mindfully so that we just dump in everything and your let's say imagine this is a plate and if you have fill up this plate with food right your goal is only one thing is that to finish whatever things you place on the plate and that consider complete of course some people will have this mentality that they have to finish whatever things on the plate and while some people who actually finished that plate and they wanted even more so my case is that uh, i was taught to not waste any food since i'm very young by my grandmother family backgrounds culture so i will always take the mentality to finish whatever things on my plate and that's the goal that i know i want to do so eventually i don't listen to my body i just stuff food whenever i felt extremely hungry and because sometimes if you just stuff in the food in a very speedy uh, very fast level right you cannot listen to your body even though you are actually full but once you finish that plate that you're supposed to complete and then actually you overeat and you start to feel like something is stuck in between your stomach you might encounter something we call bloatedness or you might encounter blurping uh, 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 blurping this kind of thing and you will sometimes people also encounter some uh, minor pain on their stomach area is because of the overeating and sometimes people will f find it very nauseal that you want to vomit so there's a lot of different condition that uh, you will you will know that you're overeat and you start to regret when you felt a uh, sickness or you are uncomfortable but because we are so used to this kind of feeling we overlook it and feel like all oh, the bloatedness the blurping everything is normal because it happens every day and so the cycle just keep going on you just keep going on and overeat so that is partially why the reason my doctor asked me to start with uh, the timer and uh, i'm very happy because everyone will have a habit planted on their head when you do the same thing for 21 days so of course this one don't have to be doing for your entire life once you are having the habit of eating slow you can just ignore the alarm your body will just naturally reacting to eating uh, slower so whenever i eat right i don't um especially when i'm socializing with my customer with friends family during festive festival seasons you know i know people have the habits of taking the fork your knife your spoon everything whenever you are eating and that's how you keep picking up the food and you put it on your plate and while you're talking to your friend and you keep eating so this is uh, one of the social eating that we mentioned uh, social eating is very very dangerous because you might overeat without even knowing it because you are just so busy talking about your life uh, listening to your friends so whenever they pick the food for you especially asian i think they really like to um, show their love and respect for you when they put the food on your plate to show affection so i'm not sure but it happens in i'm surrounded by people who always uh, like to give food to the people they love so 
like myself now that I managed to lose weight very successful and maintain my weight right so I whenever I eat for the first five minutes I would just put down my spoon and my fork and then I would just listen to my friends talking to them and uh, take some water you know drink some and just listen to them for another 10 to 15 minutes then I will start to ask myself do I still need the food ah okay I still feel like yeah I should take some mm. Okay, then I'll continue with maybe taking one spoonful or something and feed myself. So slowly, this kind of habit, um, I now personally eat about 45 minutes to an hour to finish my meal. So I really go with the flow. I don't rush myself. And if I am rushing, like sometimes you have to work, you are rushing back to the office or you are rushing, your friend is rushing. Do not have to worry about that. Even you have the food, you can always take away and continue whenever you feel um, you're hungry so this is the tips that I wish to share with you it's the simplest way to actually lose weight you don't need any money you don't need anything you just need to control your own behavior when you're eating don't stuff yourself don't eat too fast set a timing at the beginning of your journey by practicing eating slower listen to your body eating mindfully and yeah uh, sometimes i even write down whatever i eat and how i felt after each of the food but that is really during the beginning of my weight loss journey now i didn't do that because i have been practicing this for quite some time and i already managed to to know which food actually when i add that i don't feel comfortable or i, I will feel some bloatedness or i don't feel you know some people have dairy intolerance so my case i do have dairy intolerance that i cannot eat too much cheesy stuff or dairy stuff okay i want to make this video as easy as possible that maybe i want to have a habit of sharing this every single day in a few videos to to make it as natural as possible that i don't have to come with script i don't have to think about i only share what genuinely i felt like i want to share even by just um, having in my office after work um okay so if you like my video and you like my sharing and if you have more um you need more advice or suggestion you can direct comment below support my instagram and if you have read little book Xiao Hong Su, you also can sub uh, like follow subscribe me over there and remember to click that little bell so that anytime that the next time i share my tips and tricks on my weight loss journey you were being notified so i hope you like this video this is a very simple video that uh, i try to minimize all the editing i try to minimize the script work everything i just want to have genuine sharing and listen to your comments and yeah thank you so much i think i love you guys more if you could hit the subscribe button hit the like button and the bell button love you guys see you guys next time